So I'm Ann Cooper, I'm a lunch lady, I'm pissed off, and I want all of you guys to get pissed off with me because we have to change the way we feed kids in our country. You know, it's really, really important. Hungry kids can't think, malnourished kids can't learn, and we've got Republican Congress people out there trying to make pizza a vegetable and french fries a daily vegetable and chicken nuggets and hot Cheetos, what we should be serving them. And along with that is the big industrial complex where we see 80% of all antibiotics consumed in this country consumed in animal husbandry. We are eating and drinking our antibiotics. Our kids get sick, they can't get better. I mean, this is a crazy food system. We have a broken food system and we're seeing it in schools. Our food system uses 1.2 billion pounds of pesticides every year. If I had a five pound bag of flour sugar here and, and I was, I opened it and started feeding it to your kids, your nieces, your nephews, the kids next door. That's what we're doing today. That's what our food system is doing. And it's what's happening in schools. We have all kinds of problems. We have pink slime, we have food recalls, chicken recalls, turkey recalls. The latest recall is rice. And this rice was in schools and totally consumed before it was recalled. We're feeding our kids sickness. But there's all kinds of people telling us what to do. That's the USDA's meal wheel. That's my meal wheel. We have Harvard's meal wheel. And wait for it. We have school lunch in America. And yes, that is actually a reimbursable meal today under the National School Lunch Program. And this is causing our kids to be sick. The CDC, the Centers for Disease Control, have said of the children born in the year 2000, one out of every one out of every two Caucasians and one out of every three African Americans and Hispanics are gonna have diabetes in their lifetime. And further, this same generation is gonna to die to younger age than their parents. We now see cancer uh, as the number one cause of death in children under 15. Obesity has tripled in the past 25 years. What are we doing to our children? What are we doing to our future? You know, and it's all about money. We in America spend the most money on healthcare of any country, any industrialized nation, and the least on food. We have a life expectancy of birth at around 51. Is that the world we want for our kids? Is that the world we want? Where obesity is rampant and malnutrition is rampant right along with it? Where Congress pulls $8 billion out of the SNAP pr food program so the poorest among us have the least? Like, what is that? Why should that be happening? And here's the thing, we all need to change it. I wanna challenge all of you to do one thing to make a difference here. I wanna see triple bottom line, people, planet, prosperity, healthy kids, healthy food, healthy planet. But no matter what we all wanna see, I, I want all of you to do one thing. And that's really, really important. And so the, the one thing I do is school food, five big challenges, food, finance, facilities, human resources, and marketing. Food, how do we get it? Make sure it's good. Finances, how do we pay for it? Facilities, how, wh where do we cook it? What do we do if we don't have knives and cutting boards? Human resources, how do we teach our staffs? And finally, how do we get the kids to eat it? How do we get the kids to eat fresh fruits, fresh vegetables, whole grains, and healthy protein? When what they're being served almost all the time in all kinds of places is chicken nuggets and hot Cheetos. How do we go from that? to broccoli? How do we teach kids that real whole foods is what they need to eat? How do we teach them how important supporting local food in our local economy is? How do we teach them the deliciousness in a fresh strawberry instead of hot Cheetos or a soda? And in schools, this is all about finances. As a lunch lady, me, lunch lady, I have 12 dimes. Yes, 12 dimes, $1.20 for food costs to feed our kids five things in school, protein, whole grains, fresh fruit, fresh vegetables, and milk. 
$1.20. And I bet every single person in this room this week, and maybe even tonight or today, had coffee that cost $3, or a beer that cost $5, or wine that cost $15. We need to turn this around. And if we got all those other things right, then there's facilities. I mean, we need to build kitchens. We can't cook, we can't fix this without kitchens. And recently, the USDA said they were gonna give $11 million to kitchens. Well, we need $1,011 million for kitchens. They upped it to $25 million. I can, I can spend that before breakfast. We need to build kitchens and schools all across the country. And then we need to teach people how to use them. I have 200 employees in my school district. And when I got to Berkeley, home of Alice Waters, all the employees knew how to do, they had can crushers and box cutters because it came in a can or it came in a box. I mean, really? That's not food. So we need to teach people how to cook. And then when we do all of that, we have to get the kids to eat it. And there's a really strong, important educational component. We need a garden in every single school in America. And then after we put the gardens in, we need laws that allow us to take the food from the garden and serve it in the schools. That's the We need educational components to this. I mean, we teach kids math and science and history and English, but what's one thing we do numerous times a day from the time we're born to the time we die? Eat, and that's what we don't teach them about. And then there's the whole policy piece. Last year we passed a farm bill, and the farm bill by and large was horrible. There were some good things, but most of it was horrible. So we, all of us, need to change that. We need a farm bill that supports real food not a farm bill that supports processed food. So I'll keep saying do one thing because I hope you all leave here and do it. And I said my one thing is school food. I have a number of one things. I'm sort of an overachiever. But one of my one things is the lunchbox. And we have a web portal that has all kinds of information for schools to change their food. And we're the managing partner on Let's Move Salad Bars to Schools in collaboration with Michelle Obama. We've raised in four years over eight and a half million dollars and put salad bars in 3,400 schools across the country. And we need a salad bar in every school in this country. Every single kid should be eating off of a salad bar every day. Well, one of the last things I want to say is we need food literacy in schools. If we're going to solve this problem, we need to keep, have home ec for the 22nd century. If the one thing you can do is start to help school districts teach kids about food, that's great. We can't live in a country where there are hungry kids. We need to live in a nation where it's a birthright for every child every day to have healthy, delicious food in school and that no child is ever hungry. Thank you very much.